Hello viewers, once again a warm welcome. In our previous video, you have already seen the letter A and its phonics approach and how it helps children. And today I am going to now talk about the letter B and the letter C. How it helps us, let us have a look at it. Now let us look at the letter B. B has only one sound, B. And let us understand it very clearly. B has only one sound, B. As in banana, as in boy, as in bird, as in balloon. So now let, let us understand B is not at all a complicated one. The child can understand the letter B as B and he is able to identify it very clearly and easily. Now let us understand there is one more concept which the child has to understand when pronouncing certain words like lamb, comb, bomb, etc. Now let us look at the word lamb. L-A-M-B lamb. You, you cannot hear when we are writing we are hearing we are going to when we are going to write we are going to write it as a four letter word and when we are hearing we are hearing only three letter sounds very clearly lamb so what is happening here there is a concept which a child has to understand the letter b when preceded by the letter m then automatically the letter b gets becomes silent so let us now understand the concept for these things and let us see whether it can be applied in other words too. Let us see the word comb, let us see the word uh, bomb. We are not going to stress on B a lot. So this will help the child to understand that when he is writing, he is writing four letters and when he is uh, speaking or pronouncing, he should understand that it is a three letter sound very clearly. So this is the concept. And this concept helps the child and our phonics approach and children can understand English easily. So let us now, I hope you have understood this particular thing. Let us understand the concept behind C. C has two sounds, the hard sound and the soft sound. Hard sound is K, soft sound is S. As we all know that C has got two sounds, the hard sound and the soft sound, K and S very clearly. But many of us don't know when it will be k or when it will be s. When it will be a hard sound or when it will be a soft sound. But there, if the child learns the rule very clearly, when he is in a, as a small child, when he masters this letter c, he will understand, oh, there is a rule behind it. Now, what is the rule? Let us understand. The rule is when the letter c is followed by a, o, u, then the sound of the letter C is K. That means the vowel A, O, U, if it comes in a word and C is followed by these three vowels, then automatically the letter C gets a hard sound as in cat, caught, cut. This can apply even for bigger words like cabbage, cart. See all the sound, all these words has getting a hard sound. So cottage, C-O-T-T-A-G-E, cottage and you can also see cutlery. Again we are seeing a big word or a small word if it is followed by the letter, by the vowels A, O, U, the sound of the letter C is K. So this rule is taught to kids when they are very young, definitely it will help the child to read and spell better. So let us see the second sound of C, C is S. Now let us look, when we look at the letter C as S, uh, very clearly we should understand that there is a rule behind it. Now when the letter C is followed by E, I and Y. Now E and I are vowels. Then what is this letter Y? Why many of them can confuse it as a consonant? But definitely when we understand the phonics approach, we can understand that Y is a, also a semi-vowel. So hence the rule says, if it is followed, if C is followed by E, I and Y, definitely the sound C gets the C or C gets the sound S. So for example, C, E, L, L, cell, cell phone, when we say cell, S sound, C, E gets the sound S and also when you look into the word city, it is getting C, I gets the sound S and also when we look at the word C, Y, cycle, Definitely CY gets the sound of C as sir. 
So if this approach is taught to children from the early age, the child is able to understand the, so the concept clearly when he will not have any confusion when he is able to read or write and he is able to do it still better. So I hope you enjoyed this video watching this particular thing. Hope to again meet you. Thank you very much.